Welcome back to PJ Chain Design. This is PJ. Today I would like to use this fashion accessory as a baseball hat to discuss the how to design for the soft good, especially how to make the stitches for them. Are you ready? Let's get started. To working with a larger object, you might need to consider to use uh, inches or um, if you are in other country, millimeters always work fine. For the demonstration, since I'm not going to uh, print this out, so I'm just going to show you how I model this. So that's starting from the scratch. So we need to kind of uh, make this one, um, the, the half round shape coming out there. You could do is you can just draw the circle, type it zero, and from the top view, I'm going to do something like this. All right. Now, when you type it on this one, you kind of notice that it's not much of a control point for you to edit, right? We actually on our uh, baseball head is the construction by six piece. So what I like to do is I like to rebuild this guy into six piece, right? The high it doesn't really matter as long as that we can cut it in half and there's not much editing we need to do in between. But we need to make sure that the uh, radials that we have a six, right? So U direction we have six, the degree for three, and I click OK. All right. Now for this one, I'm just going to draw a straight line right in the middle. And I'm moving into the middle a little bit and we want to trim on the bottom, right? So once you trim on the bottom, you want to see if this is like too tall or, you know, not tall enough, enough that like you want to change in the shape a little bit. So maybe you want it to be shadow. I don't know. I mean, it's up to you, right? What we like to do is we need to make sure that we have all the curve that we are going to do our own design, right? So first, if this is the six shape that you want, um, and in the render, it doesn't look nice because it's just like smooth surface or something. We need to make sure that um, we have a, a, a dip in between each of the pieces. So we kind of need to create that illusion there. All right. So first of all, I need to make sure this has the thickness. So I'm going to use the offset surface and I'm going to offset inside. So let's flip all of them. And for distance, again, it's not to the scale model. So I'm just going to kind of eyeball it, whatever that work. Right. So now this is a solid. Right. The second thing is we need to create that little dip over there. So I'm going to come in over here, going to come to the top view, going to zoom in so big so you can see. First of all, I'm going to draw something like this, a kind of caving, getting something like this. All right. The second of all, this guy, it's going to be mirror to the other side like this. And I'm going also going to snapping into this point and this point bring up. So all of this, I don't know if I snapping something weird like what I did here. So I'm going to be on the top view, use project to C plane and to get something like this. And I want to do the input. As you can see now it's flattened to the C plane. All right, let's go ahead to join it. Um, and then we wanted to cut something there, but we need to have a line for us to cut, right? So I'm going to duplicate it, this edges right there, and that's the rail for us to, to do the sweep. So we're going to use a sweep one rail. This is the rail, and this is the cross section, and hit enter, and we'll get something like this. All right. Now this guy right here, it is only the surface. So we need to make sure it's cap it. So then you will have, um, you will able to do the bowling difference. So let's give it a try. Bowling different this guy out of this guy. All right. Uh, see if it, this is like too big there. If it is too big, you might want to move it out before you cut it. So let's do one more time. We want to move in this out a little bit. Maybe that was too big. So let's do the sweep one more time. This is a rail. This is a cross section. And you got that piece. And then again, you want to cap it to be solid. Bowling difference. This guy out of this guy. 
All right, so now it look a little bit better. Always check on your render view and see if that is better. For me, I think this is a little bit too harsh. Maybe you see that corner is jamming in there. So I shouldn't just moving out. I'm going to do additional change there. So let's go back to there. All right, so instead of just moving out, maybe what I need to do is 1D scale them move it back a little bit. I want them to be like so smooth and maybe coming bigger like this way. We just need to cut in, just have a little bit indention there, right? So it's not too deep of like a V cut. So that's going to do one more time, sweep one. And I intentionally wanted to show you those processes so you know that every time you model is not the first time it will be right. You just need to try several times. Uh, until you get it the look right, right? So let's do the boolean difference. This one out of this one. Okay, now. All right, it's better, smoother. Um, if that were for you, go back one step. We wanted to have this one to be polar rape. Since we have six panels, so this guy, it's going to be polar rape. So I'm gonna do six of them. Center is zero and I need six of them. 360 degree, then we'll get something like that. Let's give it a try. Polar uh, boolean difference. This out of everybody. All right. So let's take a look. All right. It's a nice cut there. All right. The next things that we wanted to do is we need to work on the stitches. All right. So we're gonna work on the first stitches and gonna come into my right view. Gonna draw a straight line. Gonna go something like this. This is my first stitches. Right. It's gonna go there. All right, I'm going to have that one to project it to this surface right there. So let me move it to the ghost view that you're going to see. There's a two line there. We don't need the one in the middle. In fact, it might have two more right there. We can just delete that. We just need this line hopping on the surface. Okay, let's go ahead to do the uh, pipe. We're gonna pipe in this guy for something really small. I don't know how small the stitches should be, but in this case, we just need to make sure it's visually looking right. So this is in that. Okay, so that will be my first stitches. If it is too fat, you can always 1D scale to make it look like this. All right, so now let's give it a try. We wanted to do is we want to array. So coming into the transform that you have array and you have array along curve. Right. So now this is the object you wanted to array this poly surface. Okay, where's the curve? It's the one next to it. All right. So this is the curve we wanted to use. So you, now you're going to see there's a little piece right there. It's because there's a two item. We need to have a lot more item. So I'm gonna try maybe 60 of them. And as you can see now, they are overlapping together. Right. So it's touching together. So maybe change to 50 and to see if that look okay to you. All right, so if that look okay, then that will be what we're looking for. Now, we don't need to have it go all the way to the center. So this little piece right here, whatever past the center, we don't need it. We're also going to have a round cap on the top, so that ending probably don't need it either. And let's go ahead to pick up all the stitches and let's group them, right? So now you have that stitches over there. Let's go ahead to mirror to the other side by using the mirror, snapping here, holding the shift. So now we have two stitches. I'm going to change them into other color. So let me change to this blue color right there. And then we're gonna continue to have all six panel has it, right? So we're gonna um, use a polar array and snapping into the zero for six of them and then we're gonna end up something like this, right? So that will be our stitches. Take a look on the render view. Always double make sure with the render view and see if everything look correct, all right? So now we have that, we need to have a button on the top. We can create another sphere, uh, just snapping into there uh, for any size something. I mean, of, of course, this is way too big. We want them to go smaller. That's cuter and moving this one up. So we'll get something like this, all right? 
very cute all right so now all we have left is the cap there now you can design any the cap in any of the size uh, i'm going to simply using the conic corner on the rectangle and i want to make sure center is click and i'm going to snap in somewhere right in the middle and it depends on how big you like to have for the cap maybe i want something look like this uh, it look like it's a little bit too big so i'm gonna move him back something like this all right so that it that will be the surface uh the area we are going to creating that piece over there all right so i'm going to temporarily just hiding those so we can just deal in with this guy here now for this guy it depends on how you know puffy you want it to be on uh, this part over here I simply just going to use the arc starting is with this end and this end and coming to depends on how high you want this piece to be right and we can split this guy with the line we just draw right so we get those three pieces uh, let's using one let's try this one let's use a loft we're gonna loft to one two three and we'll get surface like that nice all right and if that worked for you which i think it worked for me i'm going to stick with this now we need to make it into the solid so we're gonna use the offset surface so i'm gonna try one millimeter and um make sure solid equal yes turn it back to our head and to see if this is the right size for it um, you can moving this up to hiding in inside of the cap if that worked for you like this okay um, then after that the the render doesn't look nice the the top one look okay because it's all rounded but the age is not looking nice here so we are going to use the fillet and let's try something small point three millimeter and we are gonna do this one here all the way around this one here all the way around and don't forget to choose this one here and this one here all right so then we have this cap here i should have um fitted the edges before i cut this out but let's give it a try see if it's still working and uh, we try something really small like a point one and go over with the entire piece right there and or you can just go to the side view to select all button uh, but i'm going to stick my clicking right there and very last two let's see it should work it's nice because of this point all right so i'm not gonna go back to the step uh a step but if you are uh, wanting to have that fitted, you should fit it before you trim this V-shape. So to cut out the things the inside, I'm going to use the bowling split. And this guy will be split by this guy. So now we can delete the extra. We don't need it inside of it. You can also trim in the bottom you want. But since I'm going to render in this view, almost like you are not going to see it. So that's okay. I'm also going to... Um, you can delete those stitches later on but I need to create another stitches right there so let's go ahead to create another draw a straight line and this time we want to draw from the top view so let's go ahead to draw somewhere about here and here and with this one we wanted to project it to this surface right so now it is on that surface we're gonna pick up this surface and we are going to do the same thing for piping and let's do the pipe for the size similar with our first stitches. And again, if it's too fat, you just need to scale it down a little bit. All right. So this time we need to use the edge there. But you see, there's a there's a, a break over there. So I'm going to use the duplicate edges to duplicate this one and this one. And you see, it's breaking there. Any of the seam that you will have a break there. So I'm gonna pick up all of this and let's join it. All right, that's using array tool. And again, you have the array, a long curve. And I'm going to pick up the object right here. You're gonna pick up the base curve right there. All right, so apparently this is not enough. We're gonna come back here, maybe 70 of them. 
Oh, is it not even enough? Let's try 100. Getting closer, maybe try 120. All right, so I think that worked for me. And let's click OK. So I want to make sure that I select those uh, stitches into the blue layer so it will be easier for me to um, do the rendering later on. And after the, you kind of giving the colors and the material, they will look uh, more realistic. I hope you enjoy the video. And let me know if you like to see something different than jewelry to discuss the surface and technique with other objects. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next.